<clears throat> Shalom Israel, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Adash, Barak, that you have, Barak, that you have, Shai, to the apostle, elders, great millstone. My style of to the brothers, teaching word for the hopeful elect, soon to be the elect. Most high will, sooner or later, it's written in the scriptures that he showed them the time for the elect's sake. And we're definitely in the times of the elect. And, you know, in the days being shortened, as we see it, you know, everywhere. Biblical proportions on the news. Um, It's kind of made me laugh because... Um, you know, this is a, Pastor Hart did a video and, and he got this so-called black man, which is a Judite man, or, you know, pretty sure he's a Judite, might be a Benjamite, what have you, an Israelite man, surrounded by six pretty concubine women, <laughs> you know, and he looks like the happiest man on earth, you know what I'm saying, and especially that one on the, on the left of him. She's a, she's the prettiest one of the group, man. Long hair and everything. Um, and the apostle was going into we're gonna have concubines on this side and in the kingdom, and we're gonna have children with them. And it, you know, hey, what is, what is, what are these women gonna be able to do? You know, we're gonna be the once again kings and priests in in our proper state of royalty. You know. And like I said, I made a point in one video, like if you have a uh, um, a daughter, what am, I, what am I trying to say? Uh, oh, if you marry, you know, or lay down with an, another nation's woman, see, Jake do it backwards. He goes into their province, into their lands and start doing what they, you know, but I, when we have children with these concubines they're going to be under our roof we're going to be and they're going to be our you know and that's still our seed because the seed of the father but that we're going to raise them under israelite <coughs> in the israelite kingdom so it ain't going to be no confusion it ain't not going to be no jake worshiping other gods or going off under the roof of their fathers you know we're going to have these nations under us so that's not going to be a problem at all um, yeah, I wanted to mention something, uh, it slipped my mind, man, it'll, it'll, it'll come back to me. Oh, yeah, and, you know, another way you could look at it, just a, a common way you could look at it, not, not, you know, anything like, you know, breaking anything down, on the, but, you know, sex on the Sabbath that goes against the Sabbath because the Sabbath is supposed to be a rest. Now, that you know, you might have a, there's many common um, days of, of Israelite man, Israelite woman, you know, whether she or, or any, any woman. But I'm saying uh, when you lie down with a woman and you, but you, it might be an occasion that you're both into it, but you can't because you got to go to work. You know, and they, even if it's like, you know, 10 hours or whatever, that person is drained because of, of work, because they work, they have to work tomorrow. You know, even though they might have, they could squeeze in the time, they still like, no, I, 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 you know, I'm just not, you know, I got a lot to do tomorrow. So that lets you know that sex and pleasure is the opposite of, of rest. You're you're indulging in something that's that's high energy and high level to where it could take away, you know, your your rest. And this is just this is just a common thing, uh, you know, among people when they need their rest. You know, I mean that's one one word for uh, can I looked up rest, and one word they got for it is bed and couch or whatever like when you just come home the first thing you might go to is the couch because you just you, you know you happy to be off work like man i need some, i need to rest and you and you sit on the couch um and also that um when they when jake go to 
you know, bed with these um, concubine women, or even supposedly, supposed to be his wife, she's supposed to be a pillar of rest, you know? So, you know, you got a lot of jakes that go to bed with their wives, and their wives be like, so, have you been talking to other women, or have you, you know, yesterday you seemed, he was acting a little funny, you weren't talking that much, you know, and you, so Jake is not at rest with the so-called black woman no more. He does, she doesn't give him rest, you know, that's why this man is so happy. These women don't, you know, they might have some common things that women, you know, that trigger women, interest women, whatever, but for the most part, these women are, you know, the closest thing Jake can get to a woman being in order. Because even though this, now, the, the, you know, you got some women that like roughnecks and thugs, and they might see this woman, they, they see this man, and they might call him a nerd or whatever, you know, or just because he dressed like that, they might call him a simp. But, you know, one of the m most enjoyable things that a man could have with a woman is to be at rest, to be, you know, not stressed, you know, for her to be a pillar of rest, like it says in the scriptures. Let me get that scripture, actually. <clears throat> pillar of rest, King James Version. It's so right, and it's in the Sirach, you know, a lot of good information in the Apocrypha. Sirach, which is Ecclesiastes 36 and 24 in the Apocrypha, he that giveth the wife beginning the possession. So when you possess something, it's, it's like, you know, of course you could, like, women, if you... If you remember, like when when a woman, when you want to take a woman out, the first thing she's talking about is like, "What are you gonna? Could you take me out on a date or escort me?" You know, and it's, it's kind of like an exchange for something. Like I'm not gonna, especially when it comes to getting the box. I'm not gonna give you no box if you, you know. First, you gotta respect me. First, you gotta take me out. First, you gotta wine and dine me. You know, and that's similar. Not that we raise our women up as whores and all that because it said no whore should be of the daughter of Israel but you know whores they know exactly what what you know the um it's a common practice in the ancient practice and they know exactly what to do like they know not to involve themselves they're just straightforward that's why a lot of men get you know they have wives but they you know they they'll go out especially eat them he know he'll go out and get them a whore and a and a and a is you know a, a, a so called black woman whore because that's his fantasy, but they have you know they have they already have the um, the business is already set up. Look, no string and you know no heart strings pulled. We go in, do our job, and we leave. She might hook up with him another time, or you know a, a client or a usual client, but they 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 own business. They don't fall in love with each other. So it makes that man feel better because there's nothing. She, he don't have to hear a mouth. He don't have to, you know, it's no argument. You just go in, do your job, and get out of there. Now, that's the way it should be with your woman as, you know, she should please her man. She should be a pillar rest of a man. He should have all that at home, you know. But, you know, and a lot of times when a woman... When the man and woman get together, they like each other a lot, but, and then they move in with each other, and then, you know, when she has her first child, or, you know, even just living, you know, with this man for or for a, a minute, you know, she starts to get bored of, you know, of cooking for you, you come back, you know, behind her, and you, you, you know, Tap her ass to know she's doing a good job cooking and stuff like that. You know, you know how Jake is, man. And 
she starts to get tired of that, man. You know, and there's no, there's no, she feels like, hey, I need to, you know, this place is getting smaller and smaller. I, we need to get in, like, like I said, you know, they say we need to get in a better place. Uh, we need to, let's travel. Let's do something. You know, but women are supposed to have children. That they, you know, they supposed to have the joy of a man's, cause that, and that's the man's seed, and they know it's the man's seed. They supposed to have joy. They supposed to see that's the fruit of his loins, and, and they supposed to love their children. You know, more so. As far as taking care of the house and making sure this man is at rest. You know, a pillar. She's being a pillar of rest with this man, along with taking care of his seeds and all that. And then she stresses about, well, it's a burden. Well, you don't want that man to have help meets in the house. That's what a woman is. You don't want this man to have concubines. Who who was nursing a lot of the children of Israel? These 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 uh, the women from these nations, man. And taking care of them, you know. Uh, you you have your maid. You didn't have to go out and search. You have your maid to take care of your. Children, now you got to drop them over grandma's house because a, a woman don't want another woman in the house. And they were afraid of us, so it wasn't no, you know, thing, any possible thing going wrong because they know how Israel get down. We was dying by three, two or three witnesses of the laws of Moses. So they know Israelites didn't play in they, their, their customs. So they was, these nations were afraid of Israel, you know, when we are connected with our power. So this man, and then you got, you know, we always mention the passport, um, bro. Let me get, uh, finish this. So Rock 36 and 24, he that gives a wife, beginneth a possession. So you, a possession, I'll look up that, up that word. <laughs> like unto himself in a pillar of rest. You know. Pillar of rest. Let me get possession right quick. I got rest, a bed, a couch, intermission of labor. Mental peace, state of quiet or repose. These women are nothing quiet. And then when I, at my job, there's like, let's say less, less like 50 people, you know, that's kind of spaced out but close enough for, you know, a conversation. The only people that are talking at, at the job is are women. You know, that, like the casual conversation, you know. You know, that type of job, they don't mind people talking because, you know, um, it, it, it doesn't re, uh, demand a lot of just continuous laborers work, but, but they, it's women that are talking, man. And usually they're talking about their household. They're talking about their husbands, you know, because that's, that's what they're used to. That's, that's pretty much all they know besides the job. And what's going on? And we're planning to buy a new house and we're planning to move and we're planning to and he think he's cheating on me. I think he don't love me no more. And stuff like that. That's all that uh, a conversation of a woman is. You know, she don't think about things as a man, like building railroads and bridges for people to, you know, go back and forth and travel, uh, and, you know, things for traveling, things to, you know, help the environment, things, you know, the planting, the planting of the men. He planted seed. A word of us, okay. Well, I was gonna look possession. Now these women too are trying. They going from one man to another, like Cardi B and the Cardi B thing. And I mentioned celebrities because that's who our people follow a lot of, as a model for them to follow. And they was rooting for you know the couple power couple stuff. Most high breaking all that up with Will. Jada, then recently, uh, Cardi B and Offset. And they got children together. But guess what? She's moving on. And she said it. They interviewed her. And guess what she said? She said, well, I think it's just time to move on. Like, I, I just need a refreshing, something new. Out of all that relationship, even having a child, that's all she got to say. And nobody, there's no repercussion. There's no guidelines or no uh, counsel. According to that, she's just with another man the next day, just like Rihanna. From Chris Brown and to, who is that? Uh, 
um, I forget his name. Rocky, ASAP Rocky, I think. And she have a baby and now there's something going on with it. Like, these women are just, like, jumping from one man to another, like, from year to year, man. And they're still not considered as whores. As they're considered as women trying to find love. Like, okay, that's not the right one. Let I me, mean, if something's not working. If something's going on. Yeah, possession. See, if it, if they had the supervision of the father, this stuff wouldn't go, be going on, especially under the law. They wouldn't be able to do that. That's why the Most High set the man above the woman, so he can, so the best decisions can be made according to the whereabouts or uh, where they go or to what direction they go. Because a woman can't get it right. She obviously can't get it right. Because by the time she's 40 or 50, she didn't have like 60 men. Not even, you know, counting the men that she just, you know, had a quickie with. And then it's like a, a bounce back type of, uh, what do they call it? A rebounder. Act or fact of holding, occupying or owning. They go that word, Owning. Like you own something. You have your name. That's why a man put his name on that woman. Your name is your father's name. Your name, then you get passed down to your man's name, your man's last name. These women are today are keeping their, they making up names in this celebrity world. Stardom and all that. Jada Pinkett and all that. Uh, who was that? Um, the one that married um, Tisha Campbell. Like she keep. Like, but those is you know those still are your father's name, and some of them make these random names. But the name come from the father, man. Just like we have our father's name. Um. Thing possessed. You know. When you possessed, when they tell us when somebody is possessed by a demon, that means. They doing what that demon says. Well, why did she do this? Well, she was possessed. So, you supposed to do what your man says. Because you're a possession. You're possessed by your man. So, why doesn't the so-called black man, why is he not happy with a so-called black woman? Because she doesn't consider herself a possession. She considers herself a prize and not a possession. She don't consider herself owned. But when she when she goes up, grows up in this society, and she's fighting that relationship type of, you know, dominance that comes supposed to come from a man, she's wearing the so-called white man's. Uh, you know, she's owned by him because she's wearing his clothing. She, These women are starting it off at, they, they start off at working at McDonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken just like everybody else when they get out of uh, high school. And they got, they got, they got, you know, that the name of that company on their shirts. That's who they work for. That's who possesses them. That's who owns them. Now, you could leave a job, but what, you're going to have to get another job as a dominant force, a dominant company. So now these these women are getting with other women. And guess what? They finding out these women are cheating too, just like the men. They finding out these women are thirsty too, like the men. They can't control themselves, and they're even more emotional. Because a man ain't supposed to be emotional. He's supposed to be moving have emotions of, of discernment that comes that's supposed to come in the spirit. So women can't keep still, man. That's a problem for women to keep still. And when they see the man keeping still and thinking, they be like, what are you thinking about? They think you're thinking about another woman. What if you're thinking about the kingdom? What if you're thinking about another job? Like, I got to, man, I got to get away from that reckless job that I'm working at now, you ain't expressive everything telling our women and all that. And a lot of times these women use it against you, things that you say. 
That's why they know what button to push, because they didn't use your same medicine against you, so to speak. State of being under the control of evil spirits or of madness. And that's what they call us. And we're under the madness of, of the prophets, madness of my husband. So all he wants is go out there and, 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 and find another woman. That's not all men, especially this world, man, today. Especially these American women. See, we know the difference. You know? And look at this man surrounded by these women. He might not know the truth, or he may, but they're all, they all have dresses on, man. You know? They all in dresses, man. And they all look like women. They don't look like ratchet. You know, they're not giving any fingers. They're not, you know, having a thigh. They don't have no tattoos on them. They have their head covered, most of them. Like we said, real hair. And they're wearing flower dresses. These women be wearing hardcore stuff, you know. You know, back then in the hip-hop world, women used to wear Timberland boots. MC Light and, you know, and those, those R&B groups like Escape and all that. That's why Biggie... Cause Smalls called them uh, ugly hoes from Escape, and they what do they do? They change their they change their ways, they change their image, and start wearing dresses and lipstick, and started look trying to look like more like what they you know perceive as a woman. You know, because the, in the in the in the in reality, your spirit is to make is what makes the so called black woman ugly. And they think it's the outwardly appearance. That's why they cover themselves with makeup and wigs and all that. No, we're talking about your spirit. Your spirit is not like a woman should be. A woman is supposed to be soft-spoken, you know? And then they be like, well, you know, this is competition out here. Men are trying to take, you know, they they supposed to be the heads. It ain't no supposed to be no competition, man. And they try that shit in the sports world, and guess what happened? Women... What lost? They put a, a a transgender in a in a tennis world, and then they were beating the women's asses. They put them in the boxing uh, arena. They was you know anything football. They was whooping their ass because they men, and they was like, well, this ain't right. But they they, they but they like the ideal of a man, you know, being a woman. They they think it's funny, and they and they befriend these. Type of, you know, them transformers and all that. Quiet. Learn from their husbands at home. Learn from their husbands at home, King James Version. According to now, I don't know mom, what this picture is uh, really saying that if he got all those women, but... What if he had all those women and they in order? I, you know, I'd rather have six women in order than to deal with one woman that's out of order, man. Even if they got a little, little hangups, but they in order, though. They love to cook for you. You smelling, but the breakfast wakes you up in the morning. The, you know, Jake, women ain't cooking for Jake like that. Jake is depressed, man. And then you got out. You got these. When we mentioned the gremlins, you got these uh, so-called young black women. They they flash mobbing. You know. Back then, our women they didn't they didn't even put their foot on the ground for delicateness. But you got today. You got them out snatching purses. In the Macy's stores or what have you. In jeans and in hoodies and stuff, walking like niggas, man. You think the most high? You think these women are about that? You 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 think you gonna see one of these women snatching purses and from from off of a, a, a you know a rack or something? These women love to be pretty, you know, 
um, soft spoken and all that. They don't have no problem with that. But then you got so-called black women that well, they'll get mad at him. Ah, oh, he got all them white girls and all that. Well, maybe if 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 you if you if our women were in order, maybe it, the things would change. It says in the scriptures that uh, <clears throat> let me get that right quick. First Corinthians fourteen and thirty five. Let me go here. Let me go before. And then see, that's one thing a woman, it, she just, it's just in her. She just can't fight it. She just, you know, she just raging with, you know. But more of the Eastern world, they're more prone to that. They're more agreeable with that because they not only are they used to it but they know it makes sense because what if my woman is, is is pregnant she can't get around and do house duties like who's going to do the house duties well i'm going to have to uh hire a maid and i'm not going to have another man around my woman so i'm gonna hire a woman a maid woman so she's she's got a son she can't do the house duties but you know, she she doesn't want me to have a maid either. First Corinthians fourteen and thirty four. Let your women keep silent in the churches. The churches are wherever the men are, because we're supposed to be priests. We're so we're we're the doers of the word. So, a man is a church himself. So you got to keep quiet in. That house is, a, is somewhat like a church because there's holy men dwelling in that house. You got to be it's quiet. Now we ain't saying that you you know like a, a like a, a a slave like no uh, <laughs> you know. The, these women they these women are I'm pretty sure in order, but they they got vibrant smiles and all that. So they're not they're not they're not uh, they don't feel like they're enslaved. They don't feel like they. You know, like this man is keeping him captive. Now you'd be like, well, he's not an a, a Israelite in the, in the truth. That's different. Well, the more a humble a woman is, the more liberty she'll have. Let's put it like that. The more, you know, um, free-spirited she could feel, the more humble she is to a man. Because the God that these women are serving, talking about I got a personal relationship with Jesus, that's not that's not the real Son of God. You think the Son of God is going to be walking with you to your, to your to the clubs and drinking and you know and with your homegirls that talk about talk down on men all damn day, you know, shop with you and be in a shoe store for about five hours until you find like a good five pair of shoes. You don't know if it's the good enough color for going out that night. It says, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded, commanded, man. And that's another thing. We're in an army, you know. Women, women are so out of, they want to go to war. And then until they, you know, they tried that too. They wanted to go to war. They they wanted to go to join the army. Like and then they find out that they're getting raped. These men are overpowering them, and they're getting raped. And they they trying to speak out. But look, you you wanted to join the army. We told your ass to stay home. This is a war. You know, this is war for men. And you wanted to go because you wanted equality. You know, and looked and wanted to be appreciated. Equally, and you took your ass over there, and you got raped by these by the soldiers of your own platoon, because they saw vulnerableness. They saw a woman like that. Look at this woman, and she was probably trying, saying sassy stuff to him. You know, like like she was the shit. They be like, well, yeah, yeah. Wait until you go to sleep, man. Yeah, that's what I, I've I've. I've learned over the years, women got big mouths, man. They don't only speak, 
but they got big mouths. Like, they talk a lot of shit, man. Commanded to be under obedience also said the law, man. Like, also said the law. And if they would learn anything, let them ask their husband at home. You know? You could be with a woman and she, you know, you get out the car and she'll, you come back to the car, she's having a full conversation with another man in the car. Well, I was just asking him, did he know about uh, if there's any uh, food places up the road? You don't need to ask him nothing like that, man. So we could look that up on uh, what GPS, Google, whatever. You don't have to converse with another man, man. That's out of order. Let them ask their husbands at home if they learn anything. And what what that's how you know this this school system is set up for enslaving. It's not the home; it's the school system, because you're supposed to learn. You supposed to learn in your inside your homes. What are women learn? Who are women learning from today? The, the colleges. Where do the colleges give them? You know, the idea that they can be what they want to be. They can, you know, grow up. You think a, a woman that's going shooting for a lawyer, to be a lawyer, you think she's going to shoot for a, a, a regular man or a, a boyfriend or somebody that she might, a cool that she might meet at the at, at the store or at this, at a place that you, you know, meet. Then she'd be like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I can't, really not into relationship right now. I got to do my studies. She do that about four years, then she actually get a degree, and now she's looking for a man uh, of that status, of a lawyer or even more. And guess what? The lawyer that she's looking for, that's a, you know, that equal status, he's already married. Cause he don't men don't waste their time. They'll get a they'll get a young if a young woman come, and she, he he'll be he, he on that. You know, if a chance is opportunity to women to come, that's more, uh, that's more ladylike and that's more in order. He gonna take that opportunity. He gonna get a passport and get the hell out of here. That's why men be like, well, I want to have sex on the first night. Why we gotta wait two or three weeks or wait until you get married and shit? I ain't got time for that. You be, you probably be liking another man by that time. You know, one of the ways to humble a woman is to lay her down and, and you know, and have at her. Women, you if you go back in, even to the 60s, women used to be more delicate. Take me. I'm yours. You could do anything you want with me. Women, men used to uh, grab their arm and, and, you know. You know, pull them in, and they 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 fall in love with them. Women, there's it, few few so-called black women that still got women quality, a, a woman's quality. They're not delicate. They don't talk delicate, and they don't think delicate. That, that movie, think like a man. You know, that's what they want to think like a man. Boy, it's a shame for women to speak in the church, man. This is in the Bible, man. And what did it say? She opened her quiver against every arrow. She opened her quiver against every arrow, King James Version. So, Rod 26 and 12, it says she, let me go before that a little bit. Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she... Let me go. Come on, no, no. See, it's a lot in the Apocrypha, man. Not taking away from, you know, the whole Bible. It's, man, it's all kind of jewels and gems and all that. Uh, 26 and 10. So, Rock, if, they, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. 
keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty, man. And that's why these women are crazy like this, man. They don't have fathers in the house. They do as their mother, because she grew up, you know, divorced at a young age. You ask any any woman today, or any, even back then, they say, when, when did your husband, when did your parents divorce? Well, when I was 15, they divorced. That's, man. You're supposed to be married with this woman forever, so to speak. Death do us part. It says, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. Yeah, don't, don't be alarmed because she's going to do that. And like I said, when these women start rebelling, they start developing a mind of their own of freedom and liberty. They started to ask their parents, well, can I have sleepovers? Oh, it's only with the girls. But who sneaks who who sneaks over there? The boys. Because they know the girls are there. And the and the girls let them know. It ain't like they 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 pulling up without no consent or something. The girls and always told us, hey, meet us over what's the name's house. And these women are 13 or 14 years old. And these and they, and then people act like uh, people act surprised and shit when they find out their daughters are pregnant by 14. Like it's some abnormal thing. This goes back to the ancient world. Like we said, Mary was 12 or 13. The hell, what kind of world you living in, man? This stuff goes on all the time with Israel. Uh, my daughter is not ready. Well, she's pregnant now. So what? So what now? Trying to keep her from them boys and all that. And we understand. I mean, we're not raised in our proper the proper way. We're not raised under the law to understand how to, you know, have a family. You know, we're programmed by these programs out there. But who's the main one pushing you to go to school and all that? Your mother. The women. church, the women. What do, women. what do men go to the club for? For women. They don't go to congregate amongst themselves like, yeah, I got to meet my homie up there. We're going to be talking. And No, they go for the women because the women going to be out there. They used to call them parking lot pimping. Well, you just wait outside because you in the, cause you know the one the let, club lets out at 2 a.m. So you there at 2 a.m. park ready for these women to come out and you holler at them. And guess what? A lot of us got numbers because even women knew what they were going there for. They wasn't going for that no, 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 find no husband. They were going there to get, because they know what the man want. They were going there to get laid. And they hopefully, maybe they, if they like to do it a, a, a good enough, they, you know, probably turn into something. And a lot of men, we don't have to wait to try to figure out whether we want to deal with a woman or not. When we when she approach us and talk to us, we like, yeah, this she's off, man. And we'll we'll kick we'll stay around a little bit to get some box, but hey, that's it, just what it is, box, because you're not wife material. A lot of a lot of you women, so called black women, you're not wife material. That's why you're not nobody's willing to marry you. It says, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain. Yeah. If you thirsty, you're going to find any wild, the first water fountain you find, it could be a hose. It could be coming from a well. It could be a little water in a lake. If you thirsty, you're going to probably, you, it could be a little muddy water, but mostly, you know, but you could, you could still get water out of it. You're going to drink that water. And drink of every water near her. See? So a woman, she getting tired of a man and they having an argument and all that. Then the mailman come by, guess what? She like the mailman if she's attracted to him. And she'll let him, she eventually the mailman will be sleeping with her. Because he got a wife, but he don't care because he want, he want the box. He see a woman, he want, he'll get it. 
Same thing with the <laughs> UPS driver and all those people that stopped by the pizza man. And they never figure out, they never be like, well, I want to get with this man. But if he's sleeping with me and just wanting the box, well, wouldn't that be kind of like what I'm accusing my husband of? So they keep going around in circles, just like that Beyonce song. I can find another you in a minute. Like the one she's breaking up with, she's going to try to find another one of those. That's that's the one. That's the that's the concept of, of a woman's so-called idea, uh, so-called logic. It says, "By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow." What does that mean? You know, that all arrows she gonna let all, all these men, you know, lay her down. They gotta, they gotta. A song called Pound Town. These women, most that's why most eyes allow Israel to see themselves. These women are just straight up whore. They got a WAP song by Cardi B. And, you know, she's just straight up saying that she's a whore, but she had a husband at the time. What, you think she's an actor or something? She ain't made one movie. She told these young women if they don't, if they have it hard in life, forget all that. Be a stripper. And then your daughter coming to you, Dad, could I be a stripper? Wait, hold, hold on, where you get that from? Well, I saw Cardi B and she said that it's, it can make a lot. Well, you know what it is? Verse 13. The grace of a wife delighteth her husband. This man looks like he's in a delightful place. Now you got a Beyonce of how much she's in love with Jay-Z. And all that, but Jay Z is a, a witch. He's a high witch, and he got a lot of money. So I'm pretty sure an average man that got a nine to five job wouldn't have a, a Beyonce, because she's just too pretty and too 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 uh, you know, too above to to get with a man that's of average status. And it says knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. They don't even know. That's more precious than money. This money is fiat. It's backed up by not gold or silver. It's fake money. But they 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 in this Disney run. This is a like I said, this is a cotton candy ice cream, uh, you know, world a Willy Wonka or chocolate factory for these women. And everything is, ooh, ooh, get that, get that, you know. I want to go here. I want to go to the nicest restaurants. You got the delicacies of a of a of a of a, of a escorting a woman is crab and lobster and taking her to red to whatever or these abominable foods. And they're bottom feeding creatures, man. These women said, "Hey." Cheese factory is not even good enough for them on the first date. Like, what do I got to do? Be like a, 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 you know, six figures? Yeah. Why not? Chasing the bag. And what does it say in the scriptures? You're going to be like you chased the bag with holes in it, man. A lot of these women are making money by the, these platforms that's already set up. Like YouTube and IG and all that, and it's gonna be the pull, the plug is gonna be pulled on that. And then how they gonna how they gonna make money? It says delighted her husband and her discretion will fatten his bones, man. Discreet, hidden. You got these women like nuns hidden no more. It's like ass titties out. It got the tattoos, the tramp stamps, and all that. The tongue tattoos. You 
you know, freak of the week tattoos and all that. You think a, a a woman, a delicate woman like he's, like he's surrounded by, they don't have to have. It's not one tattoo on these women, man. And he's the happiest. He looks like the happiest man. If it were, if it was a a, a happy in a in a, in a in a dictionary, his face would be there. And he got all sizes, woman. He got thick and thick thin and slim thick and all that. Women are weird. They got they call the uh, Kobe Bryant when they, you know, they was mad at Kobe Bryant's wife because they. You know, she was a, she was she's a Latina woman, but they called her a white girl because they was just mad that she was with a black man. But they, but the Latinas are of our nation too. But they, that's what they do. They'll call her a, a, a white girl. But with Cardi B, they'll say, well, yeah, but she, they, they love her ratchetness and all that the way she talks stuff to men and all that. But then when they get mad at her, they be like, this, this B ain't even black. Y'all was embracing her. These so-called black women, they love Cardi B. She's holding it down for black women now. She telling women to get the bag. The men ain't S-H-I-T. You know? That shit, if, I, if, I, if I'm having sex, I might as well be getting paid for it. I think that's what she said her mother told her. Baby, you didn't do life. You're going to be laying, you know, if you lay with a man, you might as well get paid for that. It says a woman should be a harlot in the streets. That woman should be a harlot in the streets, King James Version. Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land, man. Wife is a harlot in the city, man. Like I said, it's that thing about Usher. He's Mr. Steal Your Girl or whoever, the, all those dudes. And these women, so-called black women, young black women, even older black women, they go to these concerts and they in their own world and they all holding out their hands to touch these stars, Chris Brown, Usher and all that. They don't complain about and looking around like, well, I, I ain't going to be included in this. And the stars, they just, they have, you know, they they get to get the best women. Like some of those video women, they do get. Because they have high, high stature, they high value men in that world. So you have somebody, that a so-called black woman that look like a football player. You know, they ain't, uh, look at some ratchetness, they ain't going to be dealing with that. You know? I got a mouth on it, they'd be like, man, I don't need to deal with this. Because they have women that are begging that they call that, that, that they just infatuate with them, obsessed with them. And they, you know, they'll do with anything they say do. And, and this American has feminized black men to where they do the same thing for these celebrity black women. I, I, even more so being in the truth, I'm more valuable, valuable than Cardi B and Rihanna and all them, Beyonce. They're just box, you know? 
unless they submit themselves and be a possession to a man, that's all they are. You hit Beyonce, that's just like hitting an average woman and shit. You on to the next. She ain't no more special than another woman that's not in the industry. You know? And it's all kind of scriptures on women. You go on and on. You know, and it clearly tells you all through the scriptures that the man at the head of the woman and the woman is like, you know, a possession. A woman is the weaker vessel. You know? A woman is snared, her heart's are snares and nets. Like, if you have a good woman, that means it's a, a woman that's submiss totally submissive to you. That's a good woman. That's a good possession. And you might not like, women might not like those words, but hey, <clears throat> we're going to have plenty of women in the, uh, and wives in the, uh, uh, in the kingdom, and we're going to have these concubines as wives too. They're going to be a lower status, but we're going to be popping them too. Like, in most, I say we're going to have our heart's desire, man. There's nothing wrong with having concubines, man. Because today, women are sex toys. Any our women are sex toys. Ain't like they value them, valuing themselves. You know? They say they want two, five, six, seven men. Like the men have women. So, she opens her quiver at every arrow. So you think, you know, you think we're not going to have many women. You think most high don't love his children and with starting with the men to give him many wives. That's a little thing to the most high, man. These women are not, they, they supposed to be virgins. You, we supposed to have the best of the best, and we're not getting that. Of course, the curses, but the women are not willing to, to do that for us. You know, let me look my best. Let me eat my best. Let me cook the best. If you want to be competitive toward a woman, do the best for the man. You know? I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him what he likes. He likes me in a dress. I'm gonna put a dress on. He likes me to be quiet, you know, especially around company or whatever. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be in the room. And y'all gonna find out the hard way when all this stuff go down. That's going to be the hard way. Because there's going to be groups, militia groups out there hunting women down. You know, they, they men are still going to want sexual pleasure. They're going to see a three women together. They're going to, man, it's like a lion upon, upon the sheep, upon the prey. They definitely going to take you in. The last last word, there was these two, there was these three women cops, and they were kind of had weight on them too. And they and Jake, he kind of like, he wasn't that he didn't wasn't that big, you know. He didn't have that much weight on him, you know. And they couldn't even take him. You know, there are some brutal, beastly, you know, so called black women that can throw down, but for the most part, they still the weaker vessel, man. You know, you still get wet. You still bleed every month. You know, you're going to have hella complications in that day when this stuff go down. Because you, you, don't, you don't have no hospital to go to. Women are going somewhere. A lot of women going to be pregnant. A lot of women, you know, they still going to go be going through their cycle. You know? 
I'm just telling the facts, man. They're going to have it much, much worse than a man, man. Anyway, uh, with that, I hope it was out of fun. To the next video, you know, Shalom. I think I've gotten enough scriptures, um, you know. Hey, it is what it is. And if you don't think stuff is going down, look on the news. Women are not concerned about the news. They don't like to talk about war. They don't like to talk about all those news anchor people. They talk about that because they're getting paid to do that, them women. But average on average common time clock or whatever, they, they, they don't like to talk about news and all that. The Congress women, they're known... Ronald Reagan's wife was known, or I think it was Ronald Reagan's wife, one of their wives is known to be the, they called her the head something. She was known to give head. They said she would crawl under the table from one man to the next, giving head. So all those Congress women there, they're getting laid out too. They're not into that much politics like that. They're not concerned about that. Women just want comfortability. And that's, you know, men that got power got that. They can give them that. T.I. said, look, you can have whatever you like, you know. You don't have to worry about all that. Pimps, even when Jake is in his negative state, pimps pull up like, look, man, you don't have to worry about nothing. I got you. I'll take care of you. But you got to get that work for me, you know. But they offer comfort and protection. And they, women ain't going to have that at the end, you know, them, them two-third women. Anyway, that's it. Shalom.